The under-19 Capricorn Eagles entered yesterday's match trailing Zimbabwe 4-0 after the victors dominated the hosts with both bat and ball to take a commanding lead at the HB Oval. Zimbabwe won the opening match by 96 runs and followed it up with a 103-run victory. They continued their winning streak by winning the third and fourth matches, sealing the series with two matches to spare. In Saturday's fifth match, Zimbabwe batted first and continued their excellent form, putting runs on the scoreboard easily. The Zimbabwean batters once again surpassed the 100-run mark, concluding their innings at 151 for the loss of three wickets. The under-19 Capricorn Eagles faced another tough chase as the Zimbabwean bowlers continued their dominance, taking wickets consistently. As wickets kept falling, the under-19 Capricorn Eagles were eventually bowled out for 55 runs, giving Zimbabwe a 96-run victory in an insurmountable 5-0 lead. Trevor Garver, coach of Zimbabwe's under-19s, expressed satisfaction with his team's performance, highlighting that players executed the game plan effectively. It's been really good. The series uh, went well for us. Uh, I think the, the ladies played really well. They stuck to our plans and uh, they executed everything that we spoke about. Giving them uh, game time is actually good for us because uh, they will definitely learn from playing rather than just doing uh, net sessions or things like that. Uh, the game sense will definitely come from playing these games. So I think this series, uh, it's a good series for us. It's a good test. And then when we go back home, we'll, we'll know things to work on. Francois van der Merwe, coach of the under-19 Capricorn Eagles, acknowledged that his team had been tested in all aspects of the game, viewing it as valuable lessons for his players. At the moment, we're trying to find solutions and, and, and we're far behind. But um, again, I, I'm not here to make excuses. We've we got to get better. So the only way of getting better is by talking about our coaches in the pipeline and stuff. And these girls, we've got another two months because we really want to go to Rwanda and qualify. But we've got to find solutions. Again, we just show, <laughs> it just shows there is some talent. We, we really want to improve ourselves. Uh, we're, playing, we're playing against a really good opposition at the moment. We're just getting outplayed. So that makes it even tougher. So it, it's difficult to look at the results. But again, today, without Estelle, our captain, our international captain, we played without her and we still managed about 17 overs against a really good bowling attack. The Zimbabweans received ample support from their fans, including Ambassador Melody Chaurura from Zimbabwe. It's been a, a tough competition with a, a lot of um, expertise being displayed from, uh, from both sides. And I'm very happy that uh, at this point, uh, Zimbabwe has been able to maintain the lead. And uh, like I've always said in uh, sports, there's no winner, there's no loser, in the sense that uh, after each game, there's a lot of uh, takeaways for either side. So we are talking at a time where uh, Zimbabwe has had to celebrate all the five games. But I'm also happy that Namibia has put up uh, a very good fight. The under-19 Capricorn Eagles utilized the series as warm-up matches for the upcoming under-19 Cricket World Cup qualifiers in Rwanda in August, while Zimbabwe, having already qualified for the under-19 World Cup, used the series to provide valuable game time to their players.